Hi, how are you? I hope you're having a really good day. Today I wanted to share with you four slow cooker recipes, perfect for Thanksgiving. This is two side dishes, a dessert, and a beverage. I hope your family really likes them. Today's video is sponsored by Winn-Dixie. I'm gonna share with you how to save some time and some money on your Thanksgiving shopping. So let's go. A few of the ways that I always recommend saving money are by using a grocery shopping or meal planning app and batching your tasks when you're running errands. And I did all of these things last week at a doctor's appointment and my doctor's office is just across the street from the Winn-Dixie. So I ran in all the food from this video I purchased from Winn-Dixie and I used their app to save money and save time. And I will tell you about that throughout the video, but let's get started on our first recipe. So the first thing I'm making is better than pot roast vegetables. If you love pot roast, you will love these vegetables. So I started off with about six carrots. I peeled them and chopped them and put them in my slow cooker. Next, I added in some parsnips. I just peeled them and roughly chopped them and threw them in on top. And then I added two containers of portobello mushrooms. You could use any mushrooms or omit this if you don't like mushrooms. And then I added three peeled and roughly chopped sweet potatoes. Then I put in a cup and a half of stock. You can use chicken, vegetable, beef, whatever you have. And a package of onion soup mix, and then I gave everything a good stir. I put it on low for about six hours and let it just roast. My kitchen smelled amazing, and the recipe was amazing. This was one of the best things I have ever made. One of the reasons that I chose this recipe was because a lot of this produce was on sale. They have this feature where you can shop the weekly ad and then you can pair it with any coupons that the app offers you. When grocery shopping, I always say start with what you have first and then go to the weekly ad. Dixie is also about to launch their shopping list feature, which will allow you to make various lists inside the app and will just make your shopping experience that much smoother. Okay, my next recipe is garlic parmesan mashed potatoes in the slow cooker. I started off with about two pounds of just regular potatoes, any kind you have. I actually have a couple of varieties in here. I washed them, peeled them, chopped them, threw them in there, and then I added in one cup chicken broth and one stick of butter. I never said this was gonna be healthy cover and then I let cook on high for about two hours. Then I added in a cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of garlic, and a little bit of Parmesan. I didn't even measure it. I think this is about half a cup. And then I stuck my immersion blender in there and blended it all up. And my husband even said these were the best mashed potatoes he has ever had. And he grew up in the South, so he would know. Now their app is also like a rewards card. So you accumulate points for each one of your purchases and you can use those points for money off of your groceries. And they also have the deal of the week every Wednesday. There are amazing offers on special items in the store. And when you buy these, you get extra points to use towards groceries. So have a mystery bonus so that when you spend $30 or more in a single transaction, you get a mystery bonus in your wallet section of your app and you can redeem that later. Often it is multiplied points, which just allows for extra savings. Okay. So my next recipe is a slow cooker apple crisp. My kids thought it was so funny that I cooked a, as they called it, pie in the slow cooker, but I started off with about five honey crisp apples. You could also use pie filling. Any sort of fruit would work for this. If you have some apples that are mealy, that would work too. I greased my slow cooker, added a little sprinkle of lemon juice, just probably maybe a tablespoon and some cinnamon. And then I used a box spiced cake mix. I added in probably two cups of oatmeal, a stick of butter. I stirred it all together with a fork, sprinkled it on top, put the lid on, let it cook on low for two hours. And we came home to beautiful, delicious apple crisp. My 
final recipe was a crowd pleaser. It was pumpkin spice white hot chocolate. So I used four cups of 2% milk. I actually didn't measure it. I only poured in half a gallon of milk. That is four cups. And then I added in a cup of white chocolate chips, a sprinkle of cinnamon, a sprinkle of cloves, and a quarter cup of pumpkin puree. Not pie mix, puree. I stirred everything together. I put my slow cooker on high for about an hour, and then I tasted the most delicious drink I have ever had. That is good. Yeah, that was good. I told you it was good. You're gonna be in my video. What? Saying that. Okay, so let me know which one of these was your favorite. Leave me a comment below and tell me which one you will be trying. If you try one out, snap a picture, tag me on Instagram, or just message me and let me know. If you have a Winn-Dixie in your area, don't forget to check out their app and save yourself some money. And Thank you for being here. You are one of the reasons that I am thankful in 2020. You're definitely on my list. I appreciate you spending time with me every single week. And I hope that you have a safe and happy Thanksgiving with your families. And I'll see you soon.